We're talking today about HVAC testing. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to test your HVAC system to ensure that it's delivering the comfort that you promise to your clients. In previous episodes, I've talked about the importance of a manual J and having a third party company do a really thorough manual J. If you remember that manual J is basically the BTU load of the house. So for instance, I'm in the master bedroom of a lake house that my company recently completed. I've got a gorgeous lake view here and I've got a lot of glass. We're actually facing west here. So this room has a lot of load on it. We actually need 558 CFMs of airflow to counteract the load on this room. And that's all coming from the manual J. So now that this house is just about done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my third party tester. I'm actually using Positive Energy. They're the same guys that ran the manual J as are testing it. So I, I know I've got a really solid company. And they're gonna verify that in this particular room that these vents above me here that are on the glass are actually gonna deliver close to 558 CFM. They're gonna be using this flow hood behind me which is a very pressure sensitive device and he's gonna be able to actually test and see are we delivering very close to that 558 CFM. Now there is a bit of a design tolerance here so if we're a couple percent low we're gonna be okay or even a couple percent high but let's say if we were 100 CFM low on a room like this, we probably wouldn't make our comfort requirements, especially on a hot summer day. So let's bring Sean in and we're gonna actually show you how this flow test works. Hey, I'm here with Sean from Positive Energy. Sean, you've done a lot of testing on my houses in the past. Show me what you're doing here. Yes, sir. So this is a calibrated flow hood. Uh, it's designed to measure air flows in really, really exact amounts. So this particular register is getting 65 CFM. We have other registers we're going to measure throughout the room, and that will add up to the 580 that we need. Fantastic. So Sean, let's say if we didn't get to that number, what are some things that a mechanical contractor could come back and do and adjust to get the correct airflow in this particular room? Yeah, so the, the first thing that we would do is we would add up all of the airflows and make sure that we're getting the total amount of airflow that we need. And if we weren't, we would then up the fan speed. If we are getting the total, then that means that there's an imbalance someplace. Maybe mm -hmm. the master bath is getting more air than it needs. And then we would damper that back to push more air into this room to make sure everything is balanced. Yeah, that makes sense. So in this particular case, we've got a Mitsubishi system that's a two-ton unit. We're putting about 800 CFM out of this system, and we just have the master, the master bath, and the master closet. So we've got a little bit more than 200 CFM going to the other rooms. The majority of that is coming to the load here at these west-facing windows. Um, tell me, Sean, about a standard house. If we wouldn't have done a design in this house and you just happen to come in, what do you, what do you find oftentimes? On standard houses. Yeah, oftentimes I find that you know AC contractors don't always have the the means to, to measure things accurately like this flow hood here. Mm -hmm. And so they rely on their duct sizing alone, which is also not not thoroughly designed like positive energy designs ductwork. So I can come in quite often and they'll be too high some places, too low other places, and I'll have to retest and make sure that they, they get it right. In, in cases like this, where the ductwork has been meticulously designed, it, it works flawlessly. That's fantastic. You know, most houses, if we don't do the testing, the comfort complaint happens maybe a few months after they've lived in the house, or even worse for the builder, it doesn't happen for many years, and all of a sudden they realize, hey, the client was turning the thermostat down really low to cool down their master because it was hot, and as a result, the kids' bedrooms, let's say, are freezing. This is why the testing is so essential, both doing it up front and designing a manual J correctly, but then also having Sean come back and really test and verify that what was installed met that design criteria. Sean, thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate all your testing over the years on my houses to make sure that we deliver on that promise of comfort and also that we're getting the efficiency out of our systems that we're designing there to begin with. For more information on HVAC testing or equipment, visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, I'd love to have you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.